guys welcome back to my channel so me and wesley we just got done watching Freddy vs jason and i wanted to review it with him for you guys because i have never made a review of Freddy vs jason and me and wesley wesley this is the what how many times have we watched this movie like this is I our third it's time two times no because remember that one time i ordered pizza and it was your first time watching it and then we watched yeah. it i think last halloween and then did we yeah and then we watched mm. it again well we, i think we watched like a little bit of it last year and then we watched like the whole thing this year uh, okay. so this is our third time watching it for me though it's probably like my 30th time watching it and this time <laughs> i don't know it was better than the last uh, i have my <laughs> opinions actually so i'm very excited to get that off of my chest um you know Watching Freddy vs. Jason uh, when I was younger, because I grew up watching this movie, uh, Wesley already knows the story, but guys, when I grew up, I think I was like maybe six or seven when I watched Freddy vs. Jason, and I remember watching it on the little VHS tape, and the first time I watched it, I thought it was just like a one-off movie. I didn't know that Freddy and Jason had their own movies. I thought it was just a separate movie. I thought it was just like... Oh, this is going to continue the story, so they're going to make a sequel. I didn't know that Freddy and Jason were, like, an actual thing. I thought it was just, like, something made up. So let's say... I, I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying, but... I thought it was just, it was like, a one-off movie. But... So... I, I remember watching it so many times, and I'm like, okay, I hate how people hate on it but online. But because you, there are so many people online, Wesley, who hate this movie. And yeah. I never understood why... But then watching it tonight, I kind of see where they're coming from with it. Because oh. there are things in this movie that they could have done right. Now, if you guys don't know, Freddy vs. Jason, they had tons of script ideas, but they kept scrapping them. It was like in the 90s, they wrote scripts after Jason Goes to Hell. They wrote scripts for the Freddy vs. Jason movie, but then it took them, I think, 15 more years to actually fucking make the movie. And... That is what we have now. But before Freddy vs. Jason came out, Jason X came out before Freddy vs. Jason. And then people were like, okay, so are we not getting Freddy vs. Jason? So they were pretty much impatient to make Freddy vs. Jason. So they're like, okay, we need more money. So let's make another Jason movie because that's what actually gives us money. So they made Jason yeah. X and then they made Freddy vs. Jason. So Freddy vs. Jason is about, um, well, no, Wesley, you know, you like explaining stuff. So explain what the movie's about. I'm fine. You're Crystal. Chris says all the time that you're good at explaining stuff. I'm not. I'm literal dog shit. I <laughs> I cannot explain movies well. Please do it. All right, fine. Freddy vs. Jason is about Freddy trying to make people afraid of him again, so he can have more power to do it himself. But at the moment, people have forgotten him, and so. He lures in Jason to come to what? What Springwood? Elm Street. Elm right. <laughs> Elm Street. I don't think he said Elm Street. Didn't he it, say? Yeah, it was Elm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, to come back <laughs> in Elm Street to make people think it's Freddy doing the killing, and so with all that fear, Freddy would come back and do it himself, but. Jason started getting greedy with his kills, okay. and not, oh my god! <laughs> do you want to do it yourself? No, it's fine. Keep going. You're doing a good job. <laughs> and that made Freddy mad, so he tries to get rid of Jason, clearly not knowing what he can do. And so, in the end, leading up to a big fight between Freddy and Jason, but of course, yeah. we don't have a defined winner because they both lived. Mm -hmm, yeah so spoilers yeah spoilers ahead why not um my favorite thing about this movie i would say is definitely the fight scene i think that's like mm -hmm. one of the biggest things that i really liked about this movie i mean they the characters are decent i just i'm not like too keen on them i guess you could say i think they're like really basic characters that you would have in a horror movie because we've seen characters and scream or in one of the friday the 13th movies which is with tommy jarvis 
those characters for those movies are so good, but these characters in Freddy vs. Jason just feel bland, except for the two guys mm. who are from the asylum. Those are the only characters in this movie that actually feel real, I guess you could say. Like, mm -hmm. they actually have a story, but the main characters, like the main, main characters, they didn't really bring anything to the table, in my I just, I don't, I didn't think that they brought anything with them. Yeah. But... The best thing about the movie, though, is the fight scene. I love that Jason tried his best to kick Freddy's ass, but Freddy magically got karate lessons and fucking started fighting Jason from nothing. Like, he... I don't get how Freddy just beat Jason's ass, but Jason has been through so much, and Freddy's just like, ha ha, I can fucking hit you in your balls, and ha ha, I can fucking grab my elbow and hit you in the shoulder. Like, no! Oh, trying to kick Jason the balls and were, were didn't really work out for him. Uh huh. He's Jason's a man of steel. See, ladies, that's the man that you guys need. Okay, but <laughs> uh, yeah, so he didn't cut you up in a second. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, that turns everybody on bondage. Ooh, <laughs> um, that's not bondage. Uh, yes, it is. It's a turn on. Cut me. <laughs> cut, cut me. Cut my light cut into pieces. Okay, that is deep. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your wounds. Oh boy, oh boy, this is uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so, um, something that I didn't like about this movie, though, I think, is that Jason moved extremely fucking slow. Mm -hmm. I think, like, this is the slowest Jason out of all of the Jason movies. Like, I know how Jason in some movies he does walk, he doesn't run. But this motherfucker was in slow motion the whole fucking movie. He was so slow. Even in the fight scene, he just, when he turned to look at Freddy, it was so slow. He was like, uh, oh, there you are. See, I don't get it. Like, why? Why is he so slow? Not mentally, but physically. <laughs> but I just, I don't get it. And... I mean, we were supposed to get a sequel, okay? And it was going to be Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. And instead of making it into this movie, they made it into a comic book series. Now, I don't see a problem with it because I might read the comic book. Um, but this movie made so much money in the box office. Wesley, look that up while I'm talking. Just type in Freddy vs. Jason box office. Look that up uh, while I'm talking. So, Freddy vs. Jason made so much money in the box office, but didn't get a sequel. And I don't know why. There was, like, no word on why they weren't making a sequel. But it made enough money to where they can make another, but they just didn't. Mm -hmm. How much did it make, Wes? Uh, 116600000 million. And that is not bad, because... In the and the budget was twenty five million. That, oh, mm, they, oh god, they could have made another. But listen, <laughs> so I remember, I remember reading something, or maybe it was a video. But Freddy vs. Jason made the most money out of a single Freddy movie or a single Jason movie. Freddy vs. Jason made more money than any of the Jason movies and any of the Freddy movies. So that just goes to oh, show you well, how popular okay. it is. And actually, okay, so yeah, that's a lot. But the Alien versus Predator actually made more. But when did that come out? Uh, because Freddy vs. Jason came out in two thousand and four. Same. Alien versus Predator came out in two thousand and four. How much did they make? Uh, oh, so, uh, so Freddy vs. Jason made one hundred and sixteen point six. Alien vs. Predator made $177.4 I don't get that. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. I didn't really... Oh. I mean, yeah, it's cool, Alien vs. Predator, but, like, it's yeah. not as... I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying, like, it's not really a movie that... I mean, I've seen Alien and Predator, but it's mm -hmm. not... 
I guess it's not as I thought it I, I didn't know it was as popular as Freddy and Jason. Like Freddy and Jason, they have their franchises, and then Alien vs Predator. Like what? It's just an alien going against a predator. Like what? Excuse me. <laughs> but uh, uh, what? Uh, we should review that because that's on HBO Max too. I don't know. Yeah, because I actually didn't. I didn't hate that movie. I remember watching that. I didn't. I didn't hate it. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Wait a second. Okay, we're not talking about that. We'll talk about that after the review. Uh, <laughs> but I remember a scene from that movie. So. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. I I remember something, isn't it? Okay, so well, no, Predator. No, I was, listen, I was type. Wait, no, hold on. I was typing Freddy vs. Jason into Rotten Tomatoes to see what the score was. That's uh, not good. Well. I I typed in Freddy vs. Predator. Stop! <laughs> hey, that should be a good movie. But Stop. isn't a scene in um, Alien... I almost said Jason vs. Versus... Jason? I'm done. Okay, so... Uh... Yeah, Jason. <laughs> yeah, even oh better. My God, 2v2. <laughs> That'd be cool. Anyways... Uh, was there a scene in Alien vs. Predator where Predator he had one of those aliens pop out of his pop out of his chest? Yeah, I'm pretty ended. sure was like that was like that the was end. Yeah. that was the ending. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, see, that was a good ass movie too. I remember that movie, and then they made another. Unlike Freddy vs. Jason. Okay, wait. So they could make a sequel from Alien vs. Predator, but n see, that sounds like a Chris Hansen episode. Well, alien vs. Predator. <laughs> kind of like another Alien vs. Predator. When they, they made another Predator movie, but we didn't, we didn't see that Alien no, mixed it was... Predator. No, they made a second Alien vs. Predator. Oh. Yeah. It's Did on HBO Max. Back? I have no idea. I have never seen the second one. I only watched the first one growing up. But no, they made a second Alien vs. Predator, but then they didn't make a second Freddy vs. Jason. Like, why? That doesn't make any sense. I don't get that because it did it did decently good just like alien vs predator so i don't know why they didn't make another freddy vs jason <sighs> okay um see i don't <sighs> there are so many people saying that they can make another freddy vs jason i just don't think they can i don't think they could like it's just I think it would be such a good idea to have the rebooted Jason and the rebooted Freddy go against each other. I think that would make some money. Okay, that would do good. Yeah. But, like, if they reboot Jason and reboot Freddy again, because the Michael Bay movies... Eh, the Friday the 13th reboot from Michael Bay was decent, but Freddy one that he made was trash. It was bad. But if they reboot Jason and Freddy again and then make another Freddy vs. Jason, I think they could definitely do a lot better than what they did with this one. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite kill in the movie? No, let me say mine first, the bed scene. I, I, I fucking love that kill. That kill was <laughs> fucking epic. What was yours? Um, I guess I have to say, uh, Possibly the fucking scene where he quickly snaps that guy's neck backwards. Oh my fucking god, the CGI for that scene was terrible. So, I've only looked up the score for uh, the movie on Rotten Tomatoes. It got a 41% on mm -hmm. the tomato meter and 50% on the audience score. See, I think it's very valid. Like, back then, like, I think last mm -hmm. year, I didn't agree with it. But, mm, I kind of do now. And for the audience score, they had, well, it says they had uh, 250,000 plus ratings. Yeah, see, that's understandable. That's pretty understandable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they had Alien vs. Predator and then Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we need to talk about Freddy vs. Jason because we're getting off topic. Um, it's really the same. It's not. Wesley, well, so we gotta review this. And then we can review Alien vs. Predator. Like, talk about that. We, in we're done with our review. We're not. Um, okay, well, so. Um. I'm trying to think of more things that we can talk about because not much happened in Freddy vs. Jason. 
I mean, the concept was there, but they just didn't execution it right. So, I yeah. they didn't execute it right at all. But I mean, it is what it is. I wouldn't mind seeing maybe two different horror icons go against each other. I would like to see Chucky and Freddy go against each other. I think Chucky versus Freddy would be pretty decent. Oh. But Freddy vs. Jason, I think it was a good start. Um, but I don't know. I think we can actually just end the review here. Um, but I just, I feel like this review was just so short. <laughs> Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smack the like button. Make sure to hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Make sure to comment down below your guys' thoughts on Freddy vs. Jason. Let's talk down there, okay? And um, like the video if you guys want to see more videos of me and Wesley reviewing movies because that would be pretty cool. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Say bye, Wes. Bye. It's not like you said die. It's fine. <laughs>